Hey guys, Vic Martisi G here. Um, me, Hazani, Roots all went to YCS Vegas. Uh, we were 4 0, and then we lost to Christian Urena's team. Well, it was Christian Urena, Cameron Neal, and uh, Walter Jewell. Pretty much, um, we were doing great until then, and then we just lost three in a row. So then we were out of the tournament. But realistically, my personal record was 4-2-1. I think Hazani was also 4-2-1. And then Roots was 4-3. Um, I ended up playing Pure Snake Eyes. They both played Fire King Snake Eyes. They thought that would just be the better deck for them. I like the Pure version a little bit more. It breaks a little bit less. Um, because drawing the Fire King cards is not always that great sometimes. But other than that, we need to get straight onto the deck profile. So starting off, of course, play Triple Ash, Double Poplar, the One Oak, the One Birch, um, Great Extender. I know a lot of people are actually cutting it from Pewter right now. Um, the Double Flame Birch, always have to play two in this build. Um, I kept drawing it so much though. Next, Triple Black Witch, in Pewter you have to play three. I don't think it's right to play any less. You want to be able to see it just to get your combo going. And then, um, original target is Jet Synchron. Of course, playing the Synchro build. This card was in my hand a few times, too. It wasn't too bad, though. It was still playable. And then, uh, one of search, uh, search target off of Ash, the Curry Car. Um, yeah, it actually came up pretty well. I searched it a few times. My opponent still activated their effects on my turn. So, I'm like, cool. Let's just get rid of your field and kill you now. Next for hand traps, I played two Ash Blossom, two Effect Veiler, two Droll, two Noob. The reason why is a whole bunch of two ofs, I needed space. Originally I was playing three Ash, I think three Droll, but I wanted to put Nibs in. Um, I also had to make space for a few other cards. I'm playing 42 by the way. But that's it for the monster hand traps. Next for the spells. Um, Three Rota, three Bonfire, you have to play three. I was originally going to only play two, because that's all I had, but I ended up getting the third one right before a tournament, right before submitting the deck list. Triple Wanted, um, yeah, make sure you use this in the draw phase, if you can. Or bait out hand traps in the main phase, just so you can use talents and chain into draw. Uh, next, I did play the two original Sin. Um, Pretty much, I did not want to just play one because it is a consistency, consistency card. This and any normal summon is combo. Uh, and it actually got banished a few times off running cards, so it worked. I also played the one Divine Temple. I'm thinking about playing two of this um, after the new support comes out in the next set. Yeah, I know the new level eight is actually pretty good. And then I am playing the one Subversion. This card was great for going second. It was also great just to have another target for Poplar to search or which to set. And people were so caught off guard for it most of the time. I played against a Dynamorphia player round two. And every time he tried to set up this shield, I just said, mm, let's just put him in the Spell and Trap Zone. The one, Rexstrom, the one that would negate everything or it's not let you activate anything. Yeah, that card was annoying. Uh, next, pretty much cards you want to play if you get hand trapped or anything like that. The one called by the grave, I drew it a lot. Double cross out, did not draw that enough. Double talents, um, talents was always good. I probably should have played three, but two was fine because I also played double thrust. Of course, this card is mainly for going second, but I was able to also set um, like imperm and stuff like that, or even just a bonfire to play the next turn after getting drooled. Uh, and then yeah, thrust came in pretty well, but I sided out whenever I was going first. When I knew I was going first. And the last three cards in the main deck are triple imperm to round off the hand traps. 42 card main deck. Next for the extra deck. Um, everyone's extra deck pretty much looks similar. There's not really too many flex spots. Everyone's really playing the same things. They're just choosing to whether or not play the Axis Ode, Axis Code, OTK, or the um, Zelantis OTK, or some people are playing both. Uh, for me, I'll start off with 
The Link Rebo, you have to play it. Um, you could play the Anima as well with it, but I didn't have the room for it. The IP Masquerina, normal card to end with on board. The SP Little Knight, that card was broken all day. The Sunlight Wolf actually came up for me a lot. At first, I was going to possibly play two princesses, but um, I was able to pick up the Ghost Sunlight Wolf the day before the tournament. So I was like, yeah, perfect. I'll just play it. Uh, you have to play the Charmers in this deck. They are two busted in the mirror matches. This can get uh, Black Witch, Link Rebo. This can get any of the Snake Eyes monsters, which lets you combo off. Uh, next is Nightmare Phoenix. It's very good. Fire Link 2 for the deck. And just being able to pop Fire King Island or Anti Spell is really good. Next is the Princess. Um, this might go to two in a future build. I don't know if I'm going to continue playing the Synchro build once new cards come out, but we'll see. Appalooza. Um, I think I only made her once for the day. It didn't come up as much as I wanted to, but. That's because I kept on getting a hand trap, but I was able to win most of my games. Um, Zelantis, uh, Zelantis plus the Raging Phoenix for the OTK. Um, I think I did it once against Cash Tier, and then that's about it. And then the Amblo Well. Normally, if you have nothing else to end on, you are ending on this, and it does come up pretty well, but yeah. A lot of people are cutting that card too. And the next for the Synchros, the one Formula Synchron. I drew anti-spell off this against Justin Singh, so that was pretty cool. That allowed me to win game two. <laughs> Poor little Savage Dragon. Um, they actually won me my round one, being able to make this with, I think, a Flame Bridge on field with an IP and Spell and Trap. And then Baron de Fleur, of course, you want to be able to make this so you can just uh, not lose the Evening and stuff like that. Next for the side deck. Um... We thought Bell was very good going into this event. To be honest, every time I sat it in, I didn't really need it. Or there are some matches I probably should have had it. I don't know. I might not play three of this in the side next time. It all depends on how the format changes a little bit. I did play the one time card, the Gob Dragon. It actually came up twice. Came up against Cash. No, it did not come up against Cash Terry. It came up against. Um, Cameron Neal in the Snake Eyes Mirror match, but it got impermed. I was supposed to be able to make an SP Little Knight plus this, and then I would have just won that match, but we ended up drawing. Um, I want to say I summoned it one more time. I just don't remember against what. Uh, next, Chain of Heart for the cross for a. Uh, I forgot the card now. Thrust Target. <laughs> Um, Herald of Abyss for thrust targets, mainly for purely and stuff like that. Never played against the deck still. Still got sided in against a couple different decks. It's just good out monsters. Um, the one Feather Duster, of course, thrust target. And then double Cosmic to out anti spell, summon limit, and stuff like that. And then last couple cards, I sided double evenly. Once again, a thrust target, so you don't really need three. Um, it came in a few times, but never actually got used. And then these are probably the best going first cards you could side in for this deck because they're so easy for you to play around. It's double summon limit and double anti spell. Most people are playing either three anti spell or three summon limit. I wanted to play both to be more degenerate. And yeah, it came in pretty handy. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, my record was 4 2 1. I know round one I played against Voiceless Branded. Uh, round two, I played against. What did I play against round two? Dino Morphia. Dino Morphia. Round three, I played against Bicel Runic Naturia, which was a very weird deck, but somehow he made it work. He didn't do nothing game one. Game two, he fully comboed off. Game three, I didn't let him play. <laughs> and then round four, I played against Cash Tira. That was actually a friend of ours from South Florida. They actually had just won on stream and then got put down by us. Uh, round five, we played against Cameron Neal's team. They were all playing pure Snake Eyes. Uh, round six, I played against Fire King Snake Eyes. 
I misplayed game one. He nibbed me. I had Jet Synchro on the grave and Flame Birds in hand. I was already upset from some stuff that happened with Judge Calls around before and my teammate. So I kind of tunnel vision and just forgot to activate Jet Synchro on the grave, pitch Flame Birds, and keep on comboing off. That's my fault. Uh, round seven, I played against Justin Singh's team. He was playing, they were all playing Fire King Snake Eyes. I'm pretty sure they're all playing the same build. I bricked horribly game one. Oh, yeah, I only bricked twice the entire day. I bricked horribly game one with Curry Kara. No, I'm sorry, not Curry Kara. Jet Synchron, Call by the Grave, Droll, uh, Imperm, Baylor. Yeah. So I couldn't really play. Didn't let him play either, but I still lost the next turn because he, uh, I top deck bonfire and he goes Ash. I was like, cool, game two. Game two, I set up full build. Full field and anti spell and cross out. So that was when. Game three, I got drolled. I drolled him, he talents me, hit my ash, and then I got drolled. Or I got anti spelled. Didn't matter. We ended up dropping after that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. See everybody. Um, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. <laughs>